Students' education and career path are our utmost concern in Benguet State University and Department of Development Communication. Choosing your soon-to-be profession will allow you to explore, experience, and excel, and will open opportunities where you can apply what you have learned. Welcome to the Bachelor of Science in Development Communication Orientation. Ngayong araw, pag-uusapan natin ang iba't ibang fields of specialization ng Bachelor of Science in Development Communication ng Benguet State University. Mahalaga na maunawaan natin ang pagkakaiba at pagkakahalintulad ng apat na fields of specialization na ito upang lalo nating mayakap at mahalin ang DEVCOM bilang isang profesyon. Higit lalo mahalaga ito para sa mga incoming third years upang makapamili ng husto kung alin sa apat na fields of specialization na ito ang inyong tatahakin. Dahil dito makakasama natin ang ating mga faculty members ng Department of Development Communication at ang ating mga alumni upang magbahagi ng kaalaman at paggawa o practices patungkol sa larangan ng Development Communication. Lahat ng yan dito sa Bachelor of Science in Development Communication Orientation. Let us find out one of the major fields of Bachelor of Science in Development Communication, the Community Broadcasting. Community Broadcasting is the systematic use of radio for the purpose of facilitating consciously the development of people within a geographical area with clearly defined psychophysical boundaries. This major is concerned with addressing the needs of the community through the use of broadcast media, the radio, and television. Community radio responds to the needs of the community it serves, contributing to their development within progressive perspectives in favor of social change. Meanwhile, community television is the service of video transmission through terrestrial, satellite, or on the web run by particular community with a non-profit motive for providing and sharing information, education, and entertainment aiming at overall development of a community. Community broadcasting majors are trying to plan, write, and produce radio and TV programs in different formats, news, radio, or TV magazine, drama, documentaries, talk shows, and others. Here are the major courses under this major field. Major 1, DEVC 135, Writing and Broadcasting for Community Radio. This covers planning, script writing, and presenting messages for community radio, with DEVC 19 as its prerequisite. Major 2, DEVC 136, Writing and Broadcasting for Television. This covers planning, script writing, and producing news, interviews, blogs, and other programs for television, with DEVC 19 as its prerequisite. Major 3, DEVC 137, Drama and Documentary Production for Broadcast Media. This covers planning and presentation of messages through dramatic and special events programs, documentaries, and traumatized spots, blogs, serials, with DEVC 135 in DEVC 136 as its prerequisites. And the last major, DEVC 138, Broadcast-Based Distance Learning Systems. This covers planning, designing, conducting, and evaluating radio, television, and other broadcast-based distance learning formats with DEVC 135 and DEVC 136 as its prerequisites. With regards to the career opportunities, you can be a reporter, disc jockey, news writer, voice talent, director, script writer or script editor, anchor person or program host, program producer, news director, 
station manager, SOA project implementer, and many more. Let us know more about community broadcasting from a community broadcasting major graduate. Magandang araw mga kadebcom. Ako si Alfred Pudusok, assistant station manager at anchorman ng Bombo Radio Baguio. Bali, nag-isad ako sa Bombo Radio Baguio as news writer, newscaster noong 2006 hanggang sa naging news director, naging officer in charge at naging reporter at head ng investigative section ng Bombo Radio Baguio. And when I was a reporter, I was sent to augment our team in Metro Manila para sa nationwide na special coverage ng uh, people visit noong 2015. So sa ngayon, 14 years ko na sa Bombo Radio Philippines at uh, masasabi kong talagang challenging pero enjoying at uh, satisfying naman ang uh, field na ito. Kaya ang masasabi ko lang, eh, ano man ang field na napupusuan ninyo, learn to love it dahil kung nasa puso ninyo ang isang bagay, makakaya ninyo ang bawat pagsubok at talagang mag enjoy kayo. Maraming salamat. Do you want to see yourself working in this field in the future? If yes, then choose Community Broadcasting Major. Good day. One of the major fields of specialization you can choose from is Development Journalism. Development journalism is the purposeful use of print and electronic media to bring about desirable change. At its best, it is honest writing, understanding to a layman, to inquire into, analyze and report on the problems and conditions of people and society to provide solutions. Four. Development journalism students are primarily trained in writing, editing and layouting of newspapers and magazines as well as in preparing other technical and popular publications. However, Dabjian students are also trained to be equipped with the changing media context and environment. Thus, development journalism can be a powerful tool for local education and empowerment. With units in science reporting, the course is envisioned to help its intended audience develop the ability to think critically given the right information that will help them make the right decision. The major subjects under this field of specialization are the following. DEPSI 125 are participatory development journalism. DEPSI 126 are publications writing, editing, and production. DEFC 127 or Management and Production of a Community Newspaper and DEFC 128 or Advanced Development and Online Writing DEFC 125 or Participatory Development Journalism We let the students learn the nature and practice of in-depth, investigative, interpretive, trend, and process reporting with emphasis on the participatory process. The expected output includes a magazine. DEFSI 126 or Publications Writing, Editing, and Publication will enable the students to prepare and process extension and other informational publications, including the mechanics of layout, copy reading, copy fitting, and the use of illustrations. The expected output include bulletin newspaper and other IEC materials such as posters, leaflets, and brochures. DEFC 127, or the management and production of a community newspaper, will let the students learn the principles and practice of managing and producing community newspaper. The expected output is a community newspaper. And DEFC 128, or advanced development and online writing. This will focus on the study of writing styles and techniques for purposive communication and develop skills on online journalism and writing for video documentaries. Now, what jobs await a development journalism major? A development journalism major can become a writer, editor, media specialist, communication specialist, reporter, or a communication 
Communication Consultant. My experiences as a development journalism major. As soon as I was hired here at the Agricultural Training Institute, I was able to apply yung pagka-development journalism ko. One is, as soon as I was hired, I was assigned to make a report uh, for our center out of a gathered data. Second, as I continue working here at the Agricultural Training Institute, I was able to work with our agricultural extension workers in the local government units where while we worked together, we were able to see and felt the real needs of our farmers in the localities. So through this, we offer uh, our services through training and extension interventions. And third, currently as a media production specialist, I have also had the chance to develop or package print and audiovisual presentations used in our training and extension intervention. The task isn't easy. In fact, it is difficult with numerous obstacles. But the choice is yours. Make a smart choice. Choose Development Journalism. Hello everyone, let me introduce to you educational communication as one major field of specialization in the Bachelor of Science in Development Communication program. So what is educational communication or EDCOM? EDCOM is often referred to as the audiovisual component of DEVCOM. It is also associated with audiovisual aids, materials, equipment, and facilities. However, these are just components of EDCOM. As a field of specialization, it is concerned with the entire process of learning. Therefore, it focuses on people, materials, facilities, equipment, and procedures. There are four major courses under EDCOM. These are DevC 145, which is Writing for Educational Communication Media, DevC 146, Learning Module Development, DevC 147, Video Production, and DevC 148, Multimedia-Based Learning Systems. So let me describe each of these major courses. For DevC 145, which is Writing for Educational Communication Media, students will learn the basic principles and techniques in script writing for educational communication media. For DevC 146, which is Learning Module Development, students will learn how to plan, produce, evaluate a learning module for a specific or target audience. For DevC 147, which is Video Production, students will learn the basic and practical knowledge and skills in video production. Finally, for DevC 148, which is Multimedia-Based Learning Systems, students will learn how to plan, produce, manage, and evaluate multimedia-based learning systems. So what are the career opportunities for EDCOM major graduates? You can be a graphic artist, a photographer, a script writer, a videographer, and video editor. You can also be a learning system designer, among others. What I will share to you about is how I have applied my major, which is EDCOM, in my field of work. My current work today is a graphic designer, a videographer, a video editor, and also a writer. I also have to mention that this is my passion. 
in my field of work, you can actually apply educational communication in every way. Why? Because you are the one tasked to create and design and to also turn a text or information given into a simplified and concise way that is of course intended for your target audience always. Put in mind that EDCO is to create, to educate. Thank you very much. Being an EDCO major graduate offers diverse career opportunities. So come on, join us. Think like an EDCO, major in EDCO. attached to us ever since. Science is important. It helps satisfy many basic human needs and improve living standards. Science is everywhere, but due to lack of understanding and appreciation about it, many are being fooled. Society needs science as a driver for social, economic, and political success. With this, we need science communication. Science communication makes a community smart, effective, and efficient. Hence, science communicators play a significant role. As such, science communicators inform. Science communicators persuade. Science communicators inspire. Science communicators entertain. Also, science communicators manage data, information, and knowledge. They plan, implement, and evaluate information and knowledge management systems. So, what are the major courses taken by science communication majors? First is writing for science communication. In this subject, you are trained to write science articles applying the principles of science communication. Second is processing and management of scientific information. In here, you will apply techniques and technologies for information analysis and processing that deals with the information generation, storage, and retrieval. You will also take principles and development applications of community knowledge management. Here, you will be exposed with a so-called community-based knowledge documentation, creation, and sharing. You will deal with interactive innovation processes and integration of scientific knowledge across diverse social communities. Furthermore, you will take planning implementation and evaluation of knowledge management systems. Here, you will likewise be exposed to scientific knowledge diffusion. There are so many employment opportunities for science communication graduates. Some graduates are Science Research Assistant Science Research Specialist Project Development Officer, Public Relations Officer. You can also be a science journalist, a reporter, or freelancer, science editor, knowledge manager, science communication specialist, information or knowledge management specialist, knowledge and communication officer, information or knowledge management system evaluator, and many more. I am so grateful to be a science communication graduate because it helps me grow and even enhances my skills and knowledge throughout the development of my work and my life as well. I would say that throughout my journey, I, I applied all I have learned to further my continuing progress 
as an effective communication specialist and a person as a whole. The good thing being a development communication professional in general, we transpired to be flexible, resourceful, and adaptable to whatever challenges we faced along the way. We are indeed challenged to shift into offline and online learning as we deliver our services to you. However, we are not discouraged. We strive more to serve and to deliver the learning that you deserve. The department hopes that you are all well and healthy despite this pandemic. Para sa karagdagang mga impormasyon, maaari kayo makipag-ugnayan sa Department of Development Communication ng Benguet State University sa mga sumusunod na detalye. Abangan ang iba't iba pang educational videos na hatid sa inyo ng Benguet State University. Kaya click like and subscribe sa ating official YouTube channel ng BSU. Hanggang sa muli, ako po si Paul Joseph Noval mula sa Department of Development Communication ng Benguet State University. Naway nakatulong kami upang lalo niyong naintindihan ang Bachelor of Science in Development Communication. Lahat ng yan dito sa Bachelor of Science in Development Communication Orientation.